Hey, 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 what's up you guys? Welcome to the first ever new show segment. The first episode. Welcome to Anime Tates, man. I'm excited for this. I'm your host, John Paul Amaya, and today I'm going to be explaining what this show is about and what we're going to do and what have fun we're going to do. But the title implies, of course, anime. Oh, anime? Oh, what's this going to be? This is going to be basically me explaining three different mangas or other various mangas, like new or old, for those of you who haven't read manga or you have, and if you haven't still, get a good look at it and have a chance to look at the beauty of these things. For those mangas that haven't been in turned into an anime yet, still, I'm going to be showing a little school, uh, a little, <laughs> I'm sorry, a little uh, short sketch thing summary but a little short sketch summary about that manga not the actual actual summary but what is basically sort of really about it give you of it not like i'm not gonna be as one of the characters in that manga but i will be explaining some of them like during the points and what they're about so i hope you guys are gonna enjoy the show so let's get to the review yeah Alright, the first manga I'll be talking about is Dead 2. Yes, Dead 2. <laughs> the funny thing about it, it's sort of like a YouTube gag thing if you want. I don't know, that's just me. Artist is, um, Kogeko Munchi, uh, Mikoto. Artist is Kitawa Kowa Kota. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but it's right here. Down <laughs> somewhere that I'm pointing my little stick thing. Uh, anyways. So yeah, Dead 2, basically this manga is very interesting and it's freaking so gory, so thrilling, so violent, and so much, so much, so much graphics in it, and sexual graphics too, that I'm not even <laughs> Oh, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of sex um, graphics in this manga, but it has a good story to it. It really does. Alright, DevTube is basically about like a website called DevTube. Like if you register in, you log in and get as much as view point view counts like viewers, basically. Uh, viewers get that amount of views of the segment called like either it's suicide video or murder video or something dead related or someone killing. But there's a twist to it. If you get the amount of like committing all the crimes of that account and get the most view and be number one, you win like a million dollars, four hundred million dollars, depending on what the segment of is. If each week or each month of if you're a uh, participant or a dead tuber, basically. So, but there's a consequence. If you don't get enough view counts, like viewers, or if you don't have any ratings of it. You are basically be convicted to all the crimes from the other dead tubers, or and also your own crimes that you committed. If you don't, there will be a lot of consequences and punishment to it. So this is basically what dead tube is about. It's great. It is so much violence in it, and you can also go look it at uh, yomanga.co. So woo, or any other site depending. But also support the author and uh, artist for it. Because on March, they're going to be releasing the next chapter for Dead Tube, so I'm excited for that. So, shall we roll the clip, please? Go! Yeah, perfect, perfect. Ooh. Yeah, but actually, can, could you make it a little bit more bloodier? A little bit more, but more bashing on it, or you want to just shoot it? Uh, just wing it, and wing it all the way if you want to. <laughs> Oh wait, she's running. What? Hey, hold up. Oh no, wait, this is oh shoot. Watch out. I got some on my face, man, and got on my eye, but that was Good. 
We're definitely gonna get a lot of view counts off of this, man. We're gonna make a lot of money thanks to your beautiful masterpiece that you did. Love what you did with the little dagger and the little raffle you did too for the earlier people. You said it's a little, a little sexy thing you your dead earlier, but yeah. Did good. So aroused. <laughs> 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 oh, that must be the, uh, the dead two feet. Oh, cool. The next one will be shooting uh, a suicide video. Alright, we're gonna go find some suicide guy, make him happy for two days, then make him regret his decision before he kills himself with a diabolical collar that will explode him. So yeah, let us do that! <laughs> yeah! I hope you guys didn't really enjoy that one. Alright, on to the next one, shall we? Alright, next we'll be gonna talking about a game, or manga, which a game I'm currently still playing, Memory Dogma. Code Zero One. Oh yeah, you guys can go play that on the link in the description down below where the Steam app is. And also, you can read the manga on the Twitter page thing down below that the creators, Let's Art, have provided for you guys to give a shot. Now, what is Memory Dogma uh, Code Zero One about? I'm not going to get into characters or all that because I already said that in the beginning. If not, I'll say it now. Like from the previous video, I didn't mention no characters, but I'll give you what is mainly about the story. Mainly the story is basically everything around is futuristic. Of the year 20XX. They're not gonna give a specific date, but who knows? Everything's all futuristic. Um, basically, everything is all related about it. MRDs, little bagel wristwatch type of things that you can use for displays of internet connections, uh, what, <laughs> for, uh, sports, play video games, HUD interaction, internet connection, use identification, use electronic payments for uh, stores. Train stations, anything. I feel like we're gonna have doing that. We're gonna do that very soon, anyways. Well, actually, we're somewhere part there. We're somewhere partly close to it. But what we can do. But yeah, Memory Dogma is basically all the walls and memories of the dead of this company called this Connect Center. Connect Center is basically all around that connects to MRDs of of dead relatives or dead friends that have passed away but their memories are all intact into the connect center but if you guys want to talk to the dead you go to the connect center to interact get a placement register and talk to your old dead friends to ask them questions you know those type of things you can't ask them what happened to them and how they died they freak out but certain people can hack into it not gonna say the characters just saying if you guys saw my gameplay you already know who i'm talking about <laughs> but yeah Giving you the idea. So basically, hacking, it, hacking it into the system, making them remember before a specific day that the memories will fade away and be fragmentized, or like disappear and you can't talk to them ever again before they're faded away. Which is crazy. There's a little bit more to it to the connect center. There's something hidden behind between those people's deaths. So who knows what's going on? And also certain other characters, not gonna say the name, yeah same, give certain other people cool little powers. Honestly, it's really cool. I, I really recommend you the manga and the game. You guys wanna give it a shot with that. But that is a little bit of summary of what I give you that all futuristic, all cool little HUDs, MRDs, spiles, little powers, all that. Connected and all related to the Sorry if I pronounced that wrong as that in the end. <laughs> Anyways, let's get on to the clip, shall we? Right, John, we go. So I'm back. Back again. Well not really, I'm, I'm basically a memory. Temporarily for a couple few days until I'm gone, maybe. Um, yeah, so if you wanna to talk to me about something, let me know, man. My little memory is just in this little computer thingy which I'm not apparently aware of but thanks to you guys since you guys hacked the system now I'm free to 
talk whatever, but uh, speaking of whatever, I don't really know that much of what happened to me after I died and, you know, I'm just saying, you guys can help me figure that out, I even know you guys are trying to figure out it too, so, yeah, good luck with that, so, be careful, well, I don't know, who knows, so, cover when you can, bye! Okay! Alright, cool. Let us go on with the next one. Alright, this next one is called Junsu Tutuda. I hope I pronounced that right. Sorry if I uh, pronounced that wrong. But aka, in English uh, title, it's called Suicide Island. Creator, publisher, and illustrator is uh, Moroi Koji. I hope, uh, hope I pronounced that right. Yeah, I am sorry if I'm pronouncing some of these wrong. I, like I said, my apologies. But basically, on plot about it is like a bunch of people try to commit suicide from the tempties ended up in the hospital, signing on an unconsciously uh, state, signing that they will be shipped to a deserted island, which is pretty cool. Well, actually, except the trying to kill themselves part, but it's a very interesting story. They get a second chance by being living in this island and doing whatever they want. This genre is basically psychological, thrill, action, and romance of it. So, let us go to the clip, shall we? Yeah! God, what the hell? So, who are you? My name's Jacqueline, what's your name? My name is Thomas. Do you know where we are? I have no idea. I woke up a while ago. I was searching for food and water.